Hey, folks, my guest today is Nazi Tamur. She's been an entrepreneur since the age of 27 and now today founder of Xena Vision. She's got a master's study in theoretical master of computer science in France. She did a research internship at the INRIA Sophia Antopoulos in France and was a software engineer at Huawei R&D in Istanbul. She's now building next generation emergency recognition technology whose commitment is saving lives through reactive surveillance. Nazi, you ready to take us to the top? Yeah, thank you. Like, you bet. Uh, what does reactive surveillance mean? Uh, it means like it uh, in the case it detects some emergency, it can able to react, like uh, create the alarm and notify the people. So it's an active surveillance system. For what? Like a terrorist attack or a, or a fire or what? Uh, like it can uh, it can be a terrorist attack and uh, so on. But uh, like our first customers are uh, airports. In the airports, there, there can be some terrorist risk, or, but also someone can fall down and uh, have, have the heart attack in that large venue. Uh, so these both safety and security cases are covered. In, and to in increase the number of uh, use cases, we can call like stadium uh, uh, human safety stuff like cardiac heart, heart attack again there the violence and in the road this is road accident recognition all these things threat the human life and uh, it is crucial to just be um, re react on time and so those are scalable um, use cases which are deployed our system and nazi you're starting with airports we love a niche focus obviously what's the average airport paying you to use your technology per month uh, like, um, just, uh, can I, like, can you repeat the question? No you problem. Are, like, what's the oh, average customer? Me. What's the average customer paying you per month to use your technology? Like, uh, this, this question I couldn't understand. I'm sorry about this. Your price point. What's it, what are customers paying you per month? Ah, paying you. Okay. You know, the pain keyword. So I just mismatch with this paying and paying. Actually, no this is kind of a POC customer right now uh, because yeah, we developed an AI and this uh, AI, uh, we have to test it on customer data. So for each and every customer, we have a, a POC phase. Uh, we test it in their data. So right now, this is kind of pre-revenue. Uh, we, we haven't generated revenue from the airports. Uh, how many right. tests, how many tests, how many POCs are you running right now? Right now it is almost kind of five, like one for airport, uh, one for uh, a 3 million uh, munis municipality in Bursa in Turkey. And also there is kind of uh, this um, sport accident recognition in China for Axis leisures. And there is a flying car company, uh, which is called Airspeeder in the accident detection collision avoidance for them also. And Nazi, if they start paying you, let's say the POC goes well, if they start uh, paying you revenue, uh, what will they pay you? How big is the con are the contracts potentially? Actually, uh, the system is, um, uh, how to say, uh, they can run, um, the, all these customers have a large number of cameras and we, sub uh, we, we expect them to buy, pay by number of camera. Uh, so like we are right now, it is kind of a per month, one camera we are, we are thinking to charge to one thousand dollars for the uh, for each camera, uh, like. But this pricing is kind of um, uh, they are not going to start with thousand camera just right away. Like they gradually in increase. So this is our first. How test. many Nazi? How many across the five tests you're running right now? How many total cameras? Uh, actually, for like uh, four camera for uh, municipality right now. Four. This, but four. But this is, yeah. is I'm not saying I'm going to say four camera. This is for intersection with uh, like a l large number of camera. Let, let's say total maybe mm, twenty. Uh, so for the airport, it is uh, actually the, the number of camera right now. It is not uh, clear how to say this. Yeah, I see. Okay, no problem. So you're just getting started. Are you bootstrapping or have you raised capital? Actually, we have raised almost one hundred and forty thousand uh, dollars. 
uh, this is ninety thousand dollars from a national R&D institution, and the other one is from a, um, the biggest telecom company of Turkey. Just like two three months uh, before. Okay. Yeah. And actually, what? What? How much? How much equity did you sell? What valuation did you raise at? Well, I have all. I keep all the equity. This is all grant. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's all grant money. And how many people are on the team today? A nine. Um, got it. So how are you paying them? Actually, this is kind of um, uh, we um, not the we are not using money as the instrument all the time. This is a very kind of uh, intellectual project, and we have a great know how inside. So we are working with the best university last uh, students, uh, last um, year students, and fresh graduates. And uh, they, they, they are not asking too much money from us, and they are very much eager to learn. And also, we have uh, some B two B company collaborations. They provide us some office and um, like um, expensive equipment support for developing our projects. And so, like we uh, decrease a lot of co- cost to how to say um, large. Nazi, if a student at one of the universities does work for you, do you own the IP even though you're not paying them? I'm paying them, but it is like, um, you know, Turkish lira compared to dollar, it is not too much. So if uh, it is uh, 1000 lira, it is like very few when we com- compare to the dollars. But um, if for UA- US or any other European country, you can think of a thousand uh, euro in their place. Uh, okay. So and of the 140,000 you raised, you have to pay that back or it was just a donation? It is all donation, actually. Uh, to develop the project because we are selected kind of for 4,500 uh, out of 140. Um, so like actually the use cases and the progress on the pro- product is like, this is really, I'm the technical technical founder and this is a really kind of cutting edge technical project. And this is what make people um, exciting about and spending their time, dedication, and resources, and um, but we are we are not um, we are we may be a little uh, slow to generate the revenue. Nazi, what year did you write the first line of code? Uh, could you please repeat this? When did you write the first line of code for the platform? Ten years before. Ah, um, no, it's like I I have graduated from university two thousand twelve, and I launched this uh, two and a half year before. So I started this. It, it I can say, first uh, of uh, July in uh, nineteen uh, two thousand and nineteen, and this is the official start date. Okay. And, um, and so, how have you paid yourself between twenty nineteen and twenty twenty and this year out of the grant money? Yeah, this is the grant money. Ah. It is kind of uh, two two hundred two thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars for two years. Actually, we spent, and, and then um, by uh, achieving the first phase successfully, we have we have the opportunity to get ninety thousand dollars too. We haven't spent this money. It's going to come come in two uh, two and three months here, and uh, we get this uh, grant from the telecom provider. And uh, again, it is it is twenty five thousand dollars, and we we spend one uh, out of third, and we are going to receive the end of kind of this month the uh, so, the other part. So Nazi, of the one hundred forty thousand you've already raised, how much yes. is still in the bank? Like it is a ninety ninety plus. I can say, uh, let me say, to, um, if we divide. Uh, let's say 15, uh, 100 and uh, 12, uh, 15, 15, I can say. We already, we only spent two, 20,000. Uh, so Nazi, of the 140,000 you've raised minus 20,000 you spent in 2019 and 2020, that means you still have 120,000 in the bank today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is, I uh, see. yes. 
I'm kind of very efficient to generate resources without money. <laughs> I think that's super impressive. So when do you think you'll have your first paying customer, not a POC, an actual signed closed contract? Actually, I'm planning to make it by this year and before this year. It is. And the customers, they are actually, how to say, happy. I can say this also, like... Um, I am a little obsessed with the technical uh, kind of improvement. So uh, we are like right now one designer designed the customer real-time reports for the customers, etc. This is kind of a surprise for them. So we are like, how to say, over-preparing for them. So, How long uh, have these POCs been running? Actually, like uh, for this uh, air speeder, actually, for last two last two months, we have started. Is that and, the oldest one? Uh, the oldest one was the uh, actually the okay. The oldest one was the airport, but in between, I my father passed away, and uh, this quite like uh, make this a little make some things a little complicated. In the be- in between, uh, we got some. We are selected to hype uh, global acceleration for the sports, and we get this. Access leisures and air speeder and the municipality customers. So what we did, we uh, increased the number of POC actually, and um, you know the closing the sales. It is more. It's a little stress. It is. It requires more energy. So I took more time on this POC and my comfort zone. And uh, makes yeah, sense, Nazi. I'm sorry to hear that about your dad, but it's impressive the traction you've generated after that over the past year, and we're rooting for you. We hope these POCs turn into signed customers before the end of the year, okay? Oh, yeah, all right. Yes. All right. Let's wrap up with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Uh, it is zero to, uh, zero to one. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Uh, this is Elon Musk. Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building Xenovision? And the air table, I can say. Like I have my living project plan. I love that. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Um, actually, uh, right now it is eight hours, but last year it was like two, three hours. Like the first That's not year- healthy. Yeah, but first first year was like very, I was really, really passionate, very energetic and uh, etc. But right now I spend more t- some time with family, myself and the business. It's a healthy it's balance. Good. And what's yes. your situation, Nazi? Married, single? Do you have any kids? I, I am single. I am married with my uh, project. <laughs> <laughs> and can I ask how old you are? Uh, 31 years old. 31. Last question. What's something you wish you knew when you were 20? Uh, uh, I shouldn't wait. I, <laughs> I, yes, I, I delayed certain things and uh, I should have uh, started that time. I have already actually, I, I had plans to be an entrepreneur that time, but I didn't know the name was being an entrepreneur. So Guys, there you have it. Nazi launched her company, Xenovision, in 2019 to help folks like airports track incidents, both security risks and also safety hazards, like someone falling or a terrorist threat. She has five POCs right now, hoping to convert one of them to a paid customer before the end of the year. She's going to price on a model that is $1,000 per camera per business. We'll see if she can convert these five POCs into paid accounts by the end of the year. She has $140,000 raised. It was all a donation grant money. She's burned only $20,000 since 2019. So very capital efficient. Nazi, we're rooting for you. Thanks for taking us to the top. Thanks a lot. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers. They try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, 
a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at NathanLacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right. I'll be in the comments. See ya.